Making an acetone transfer at home is really simple. All you need is a sheet of blank paper, a Xerox copy of an image or photograph, a roll of masking tape, a spoon to burnish your image, a paintbrush, and acetone. Now get that stuff out of the way and I'll show you how it's done. So you're going to take your Xerox image and put the ink side face down on your paper. You can tape it down or you can just hold the image. I like to tape it to make sure it's extra secure. The reason you need a Xerox copy is because dry ink will work with the transfer as opposed to laser jet or ink jet which will not work. Only laser jet. So take your acetone and your paintbrush and you are going to paint the acetone onto the back of your image like so. If you use too much acetone your transfer will bleed slightly. I didn't need to go back the second time but I did. Now I'm going to take my spoon and burnish the image all the way across the ink to make sure it's transferred onto my paper. The cool thing about this process is that if it bleeds and you plan to work back into it, it gives you a really cool start to make more of an abstract piece, especially if you're doing this with students. It forces them to think about their images slightly differently to see how they can modify it. Now peel back the tape and see the result. Let's see. So, voila! Mine did smudge slightly, but like I said, I think this can be a really cool place to start. 